Hi, I'm Renovation Baby and I'd love to give you a tour around our new utility room, sort of shower room, downstairs toilet. Um, we had a side extension on our three bedroom semi, it's something we'd wanted to do for ages. Um, so we got rid of the garage and as you can see these two blue lines here are roughly where the utility room was built and the remainder was my kitchen. You can have a look at my other tour videos below. Here's before and here's after the extension. So, I'll take you to the new utility room. So, in we go through our door from our kitchen and this is our shower, downstairs toilet, utility room. Um, it was always going to be a super high functional room with lots of things needed it to be worked. It gave me a bit of a headache designing it to make sure we had what was right, what we were allowed in there and things like that. And as you see we wanted the boiler in here so we could get it out of the kitchen. We um, wanted to use, keep the washing machine in there, the dogs, um, we've got a big dog so he gets showered in here. I wanted it clean and functional and really practical but still really nice. So I'm absolutely over the moon with it. So I'll give you a little tour around of all the bits and bobs now you've seen the whole room. So we picked out black features, um, I love this black radiator, we actually got it from um, the plumbers so I can't tell you where it is they got it for us. We've got it as a dual fuel one and I highly recommend it so it's electricity in the summer if we want it to dry your towels and things like that on it um, in a matte black finish um, but it also will then run central heating throughout the winter to keep the warm room the room warm and dry. We put on gold valves on here which um, shocked the plumber when I said about could I have gold valves. A bit unusual, a bit different but it picks out. I wanted a toilet that was wall hung so that I could just clean easily under it with the mop and the hoover because the dog's going to be in here um, drying off or muddy and things like that so nice and easy to clean. Uh, picked up the toilet roll holder and the toilet brush from Amazon in the gold finish. I also, this came with the toilet um, that the plumber supplied but it was chrome so I thought I would spray it black so I picked a black matte spray paint from Amazon. We tried to use what we had already in the old kitchen so this is from the old kitchen, our worktops from the old kitchen um, so we've used that here and on the other side. I'm also loving my house plants, so you'll keep seeing them. My friend got me the little gold pot. This one's fake because it was so high up. I thought, oh, it can, it can, we can get away with that out there. But I'm not averse to fake plants actually. Oh, they're looking quite good. These little shelves were from Amazon, but I didn't like the gold on them, so I sprayed them with the gold spray paint um, and matched them up with each other. We had gold frames, these were purchased from Amazon and I actually made the prints inside um, the foil which was a new little craft that I've not done before but I'm really pleased with them, really happy with them. See these gold, these milk bottles, I actually found them in, well I didn't find them, the builders found them when they dug up the footings. So they were original milk bottles from like when the house was built in the 60s, so that was really cool to find. These two little gifts are my birthday present recently for my husband, so Mr and little gold pruners. Picked up some smellies from Home Sense, like a little set to uh, make it look nice. And some fake eucalyptus in the pots. We've got donkey ride paint on the wall which is a uh, colour match to earthborn donkey ride and um, this is we've got it throughout the house pretty much um, really like the warmness of it we use that also for colour matching the shower I wanted a big shower really love it. I wanted a big shower without any doors so that we didn't have all the little bits and bobs um, to clean and things like that so this massive shower tray is stone, not uh, not, not a, a resin or acrylic or something like that they use. Well, it's really strong and sturdy. It's um, definitely worth investing in something a lot more sturdy. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. So the shower is from Victoria Plum. That is just quite. It was quite a cheap one. One of the cheap ones, really. It hasn't got too much strength in the waterfall head but it's fine um, so yeah and we like the squareness of this as well and just a matte black the 
um, little glass bottles, they were from Amazon and this was from HomeSense as well, so I picked up those. The tiles are from Wix, um, saw them online and thought I really love how you see how the different colours are in it, they were all different colour sort of tones in the pack so you've got to make sure you mix it all up and everything like that but you'll see the different colours throughout the tone, throughout them but they are um, Soho Green tiles from Wix so they really good value really and really pleased and we decided to do them in a straight herring bone rather than a diagonal one. So the glass doors came as a set from Victoria Plumbing as well and um, this tray and the doors came together they're literally just like glass um, glass panels so I, I don't have to worry about little nooks and crannies or rollers and things like that because the ones upstairs I find really annoying to clean so picked up some this plant was a parlor palm from Hortology I think it is um, doesn't they're pretty um, pretty resistant these they're good so uh, they can take different places that are not quite perfect so he's good to be living in here a plant pot from home sense and the stand from Amazon home sense dog bowl gold and black one uh, they got the towering this is from Amazon as well so it came with matching sort of with the toilet brush I sprayed these pipes black that was a job and a half um, <laughs> But yeah, that, that just tied them in a little bit more because we wanted originally boxes in, but between the builders and the plumbers, they didn't talk to each other. And originally it went out the wall, which was illegal because it was straight into my neighbor's garden. Um, so they made a bit of a mistake there and it went through the roof. But if the builders and the plumbers had talked together, they could have lined up the uh, roof tiles and we could have boxed it in, but now it's kind of overhanging. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do, which is a bit frustrating, but I've tried to make the best if I can. We um, got the, the, again, the worktop was from the old original kitchen, the same as the units um, they were from, and the sink, they were all from the old kitchen. So it's been, you know, really good, and my husband was able, able to sort of customise them and to fit them in so we could put the washing machine here. Um, but the units were originally from B&Q just white cloths ones so they work perfectly and the handles were about seven pound from ebay the tap um, again was from uh, amazon that was handy so perfect little spot here for my washing machine and the sink is actually like a stone range master stone one don't have it if you are a bit yeah, heavy handed with them because they chip really easily but it they look nice and another little plant pot with some fake eucalyptus and we're just making it trying to make it really practical really and just filling up my all my cleaning products in here all the practical things in here the washing powders all the bits and bobs for the dog can be in here as well and i just wanted to make it super practical room and i absolutely love it i'm so pleased with it so the flooring is something that we really 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 went around in circles with I wanted something practical and originally wasn't going to go for tiles because I didn't want the grout in um, but I couldn't I couldn't help it I couldn't find what I wanted in a like a, a click vinyl tile flooring kind of thing so I went for it and I'm just going to grout uh, seal seal the grout so that it tries to stay a bit cleaner but yes I think these were from porcelain superstore and they just got the, all the tones of the of the utility room and as soon as I put them in this room I was like that's perfect exactly what I want come sort of like a bit of like a bit like a mat with, mm, there's a bit of a shiny tone to it though so do you have to be aware of them with them a little bit more slippery but they're not gloss so yes I'm absolutely over the moon with it if there's anything you want to ask or any questions about this room give me a shout Oh yes, my sun tunnel. I wanted to show you this because this room has currently got no windows. Well, it hasn't got any windows. It gave us a bit of a headache about the window because if we put a Velux in there, my neighbour literally looks down on that roof so she would see us in there. Um, I didn't want to put a blind on it because I didn't want to have to keep shutting it every time someone went to the toilet and it's obviously high up. 
So we went for a solar solar tube, and I spent a bit of money on this because I knew how practical, how well worth it would be spending. And this is at 10 o'clock in the morning with no windows, just that light coming through. No filters, nothing. No light. I haven't edited the picture. This is it. So I was so pleased with that. So I hope you like our utility room, shower room, practical room, boot room, whatever you want to call it. Because um, we really, really do. Head down to the box below to have a look at all the links where things are purchased from and see the blog post. Head over to the blog post if you want to find out more. Thank you very much and hit the subscribe button. Thanks.